On the day of the disaster, I was assigned to patrol the tracks to halt all traffic, rail or foot. I have not led a sheltered life, but I was a little shaken up at what I saw. How would you uh, rate this tragedy with others in the past? Well, this is one of the most tragic. It seems to be that if they can stop this hole, block it up, then of course we'll become the rescuer. Do you think there's any chance of uh, rescuing the men who are still trapped in the mine? Well, I hope so. I worked as a miner, mostly on my hands and knees. I'm the daughter of John Beloga, whose body is entombed in the Knox Mine. I worked on the surveying corps, and I, I would make periodic inspections. I was a laborer with my, my brother. Well, we had, what, nine cars loaded, about 11 o'clock. As I started to proceed to go out, I'm stepping in water, and I knew that water shouldn't be there. There was an enormous crashing sound and then the Niagara Falls. Force of the water was taking the mine cars and... It sounded like about 20 freight trains and jets taken off. The rock men were trapped. They were down below. Oh, I would water up to my waist. Big chunks of ice. You go into shock, you know that. The only thing that was left was the old Eagle air shaft. One of them, Mario Pencati, climbed up the shaft. That shaft was about... 40 or 50 feet to the surface. He used to tell my mother in Italian, just by the, the fingertips. How he climbed over the top of the shaft, I don't know. The first person he met was Bill Hasty. And we began pulling, pulling men out. WDAU was there when the first small group of survivors emerged from the rapidly filling mine through an abandoned air shaft and had exclusive sound film coverage later in a hospital dispensary as 26 more men made it to safety through that same air shaft. The obvious question became, how could this have happened? Was it an accident? Was there some negligence? Was there something illegal? The miners were making good money. They were loaning extra cars of coal. You'd have to blame the owners or somebody in between. They knew what they were doing. There were a series of court cases violation of the mining law, conspiracy, manslaughter. That flooding of the mines eliminates mining in the Wyoming Valley. And Joe Stella had discovered the illegal mining some weeks earlier. If I found violations, I'd report them. They took my dad. They're not going to put words in the mine. I'm not trying. There's no doubt that the knocks ended up wiping out over 10,000 jobs in no time.